Today, we want to talk about the status of our farm, the hydroponics farm, uh, which is based on uh, water gutters. As you can see, we have uh, here lettuce. It is growing very fast. It is about two, uh, three uh, weeks old, and uh, you can see the growth is very good. I have here 200 plants that are growing that can support you. You can take this as your kitchen garden and uh, this is the future of farming. Farming that does not require any kind of uh, weeding, no pesticides. You'll get very healthy leafy vegetables and uh, the growth is very good. We have different varieties of lettuce and I'm showing you how this farm is set up very easy. You can see it's a question of buying these uh, fasteners you put on the wall and uh, you'll be able to use the gutters. These are the gutters I'm trying to refer to. They are used for construction, but why not? You can repurpose them for uh, hydroponics. Why not? Uh, the sky is the limit. As you can see, I get these uh, water gutters and I get uh, the end cap here. This is the end cap uh, which prevents water from flowing out. And uh, at the end of the day, I'm able to put holes in here. You can see a hole here. So uh, you can use a knife and uh, this material is called foam board but you can as well use plywood of course plywood won't last for long but to reserve for some time so you can as well use plywood uh, or foam board or some plastic or you can get uh, uh, the PVC and flatten it and put it on top uh, so the sky is the limit when it comes to hydroponics farming and uh, you see this is a very beautiful garden and uh, what matters here is to make sure that the uh, farm, the gutters have water. As you can see there is always water inside and uh, another thing that matters is what we call the uh, growing median all substrate substrate is very important in the arena in the field of hydroponics there are different types of substrate uh, some people use rock wool other people use cockpit here we are using uh, a type called uh, biochar and uh, yes the sky is the limit these are very healthy leafy vegetables I think in two weeks time they will be very big and they can feed us. Why not put this kind of farm on your wall? Uh, of course, if the uh, place is being rented, uh, you worry about uh, putting holes in the house, but you, you, there, are, there are other techniques you can use to make sure that uh, you have what we call a kitchen garden. This is a f the future of farming. This is the farming that we need to embrace and uh, we'll be able to feed the cities. We'll be able to feed ourselves with the uh, healthy, leafy vegetables. And uh, here you can even plant other types of uh, uh, leafy vegetables. Not only lettuce, but you can also uh, plant uh, other uh, vegetables like pak choy. Uh, so this is the farm. The reason why this farm is doing very well here is because when the sun rises it starts from here and uh, it uh, uh, gives enough light uh, to uh, these plants as you can see how they are growing. This farm is very big actually you can't eat all this and finish so you can even sell some of these uh, uh, vegetables. So this is what we call climate smart urban agriculture because you can even uh, use this type of agriculture on, and put the systems on balcony and uh, uh, you can put the system in your backyard 
and you'll be able to grow uh, plants hydroponically. There are some people who decide to uh, grow inside uh, their houses, uh, but that is a bit of a complicated system uh, which requires lighting, but here uh, God gave us light, why should I bother myself with lighting? Of course, some people grow inside the greenhouses, but uh, uh, if you are in the tropics, uh, they don't, may, you may not need a greenhouse, you just uh, grow outside, but of course greenhouse sometimes uh, is better to manage things like uh, uh, rain, the vagaries of weather which can affect your crops, your leaf vegetables. So this is the future. We need to embrace the future of farming, the technology. It is sustainable uh, because it's a question of uh, harvesting this and you put another one as simple as that. Uh, the only thing you need to monitor is uh, uh, water. So uh, in case you need any support, please don't hesitate to contact me. Let me also show you uh, the other uh, systems which can be used on Balacon, simpler systems. This is another system here. This is more of commercial. This is another one here, very simple system. There's another one here you can apply. We have another one here you can use. And we have others. We are making there vertical towers. Uh, we have more here. Again, you can use this system. Uh, this is very promising, as you can see this tower. Very simple tower. Uh, you just irrigate on top and the water will be uh, flowing down. This is uh, about 26 plants and uh, it's just enough for you to serve as your kitchen garden. We have other systems here. They are all hydroponics based because we don't use soil. So with that, thank you very much. It has been nice speaking to you and I look forward to sharing more videos in the area of uh, hydroponics. Thank you. Bye for now. Follow for more. Subscribe to my channel and please make comments and I look forward to giving you more content in the area of hydroponics. Refer to my previous videos regarding uh, this uh, farming technique which we all need to embrace. I always say that at least most of these leafy vegetables can be grown in the hydroponic setup. Uh, there are things like cereals, maize, you can't grow in hydroponics, bananas, uh, but at least we know that arborand is uh, static and uh, it is even becoming infertile and the population is growing. So in terms of sustainability and to achieve the sustainable development goals of the United Nations by 2030, we need to embrace such sustainable agriculture systems. Thank you very much and I look forward to sharing more content. Bye for now.